morning, Trev. Smashworks. Monday. TGIM. Hey, we're going to go over some uh, some knee issues, some posterior knee issues, and uh, hey, I hope you guys had a really awesome Christmas. It's Monday. Get back at it. Um, get to your mobilizing. Hope you guys mobilized while you were on the Christmas break, by the way. Um, but we had, uh, I had a guy ask me uh, or talk to me about some issues with uh, with his knee on box jumps, some, uh, some really funky, gnarly um, anterior shin pain. So primarily that's going to be that tibialis anterior and the, and the peroneals down here. So you have these three peroneals, tibialis anterior, they're going to affect the ankle, they're also going to affect the knee. So I'm going to go over how to mobilize all that stuff and, uh, and we're also going to hit that calf and that soleus that goes, or that goes around that gastroc. That gastroc is that heart shaped muscle in the middle, soleus kind of goes around it, wraps in real tight. So I'm going to show you how to peel that away. Some of these are repeat moves, but uh, we're going to combine them in a certain way so we can take a lot of that stress off that knee. And, uh, and think about it, when those muscles have to engage and disengage, remember we're using, we're using an agonist and an antagonist right now, so the calf and the, and the, uh, the whole calf complex, so the gastroc and the soleus are going to dorsiflex or uh, plantar flex rather the foot for your, for your press off when you, uh, when you jump onto a box. And then what's going to happen is they're still going to stay contracted. And what happens is that uh, tibialis anterior, that extensor hallucis, uh, longus brevis, all those muscles, they are going to decelerate the foot in dorsiflexion. So they're, they're having an argument between each other. That's going to put a lot of strain on the knee. I realize, yes, I'm using my, don't say it. You send me a message about me using my forearm as a knee. I'm going to come to your house and make you do burpees for like an hour. So with a vest, so with me sitting on your back, so we can do this all day. But if this is the knee, Extensors, flexors, right? Same thing with, uh, with the leg, right? Extensors are on the front, flexors are on the back. Dorsiflexion uh, or dorsiflexion, plantar flexion. So your foot has to go back and forth through that when you're squatting, when you're doing box jumps, when you're doing wall balls, especially when you're getting tired on those wall balls, by the way, and you have to jump to get that ball up over that line because you're just so out of gas. We saw some of the athletes at the games have that happen to them. Heck, that happens to me sometimes when I just run out of gas. When you're uh, when you're doing Karen with a 30-pound wall ball, I did it by accident. You can ask my buddy Rex. It was a nightmare. I did the uh, the 30 was rubbed off, and I did probably about 110 reps until I realized my Karen time was atrocious. It turned out it was because it was with a 30. So anyway, we need to unglue all that tissue so we can freely move that ankle. We can freely move that knee because that knee is going to hinge back and forth. It also remember has that screw home mechanism, so it's going to screw home, lock in, and then unlock, lock in and unlock as it works as a hinge. So it's got those two ranges of motion as well. So we're going to grab. Yeah, we're not going to use a foam roller. We're going to get gnarly today. We're going to use a PVC pipe and we're going to use an Olympic bar. So with the PVC pipe, what you want to do is you want to take this. It's really important that you hit both aspects of it. So you're going to get your shin over it. So if you look, I have my shin rest right, resting right here on the PVC pipe. This is where that tibia is. Stay off the bone. We don't mobilize bones. They hurt. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna point our foot so we can get that muscle in full uh, extension. Good. And then we're just gonna, God, that's terrible. We're just gonna grind around on that tibia. And I promise you, it's gonna hurt. That's number one. Number two is sit down on this PVC. And now I'm gonna hit the peroneals. Same thing, grab that side of that. You can see where I've got, here, I'll move back a little bit. You can see where I've got that PVC pipe. Now I'm sitting, put some weight on that, and all I'm gonna do is grind away on the peroneals as well. So that's two groups of muscles we just hit with a piece of PVC pipe. Oh God, seriously, and grind away. But know that it hurts a lot. So that's one and two. I gotta get this thing out of here. Now I'm not looking forward to this one because it's so unfriendly. And I've done this one before, but we're gonna take our Olympic bar. We're gonna make sure that the feet, if you look at my feet, they're gonna be like this, okay? We're gonna take the Oli bar and we're gonna get underneath here. Now what I'm gonna tell you right now is don't push off that Olympic bar when you're getting out of this stretch. Get your hands on, or this mobility, get your hands on the floor, get up, and get that thing off of you. Because if you push down on this, think about it, gravity is not your friend in this one. You're gonna push down on it and you're gonna grind away on those calves even harder. You're probably gonna bring up a boot because it's gonna hurt so bad. So you're gonna reach back, you're gonna take this, and you're just gonna hang out just like this so you can see where I am. 
I have this sitting right on the gastroc of the soleus. I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna treat it just like an oar. And I'm just, oh God, this is awful. Pete's watching me because he's seen me do this before and it friggin' sucks. See, you heard him in the background, it's nasty. You're just gonna grind all the way. If you look, I'm working my way all the way down. That was this hitting the ground. So start up high, work your way all the way down. I gotta get out of this thing, it freaks hurts. All right, so you're gonna smash this out. How long? Two minutes, you know the routine. Do this thing for two minutes. Do the tibialis anterior, do the peroneals down the outside. What that's gonna do is it's gonna allow that knee to not have all that pressure on it. It's gonna allow it to move properly because the ankle's moving right, 26 bones in the human foot, screw a mechanism in the knee. So now you can transfer all that horsepower into the ground instead of having it get it stuck in the knee and get all abused in here and then that ankle not moving properly. I promise you this will clear up more of your knee problems than you can imagine. Hey, I'm Trev, Smashworks. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have an awesome day.